Hi and welcome. The Zoom H4n portable recorder is popular. I've used it to record radio interviews and the audio on videos when using lavalier or XLR microphones. The main problem I have is that some of my video shoots are longer than the battery life of the two internal AA batteries. So in this video, I'll explain how I use a power bank to record for longer with my Zoom H4n recorder. One solution would be to plug in the Zoom AC adapter. But if I'm on a location video shoot, I can't rely on having an AC wall outlet or socket close by. I could use batteries with a higher power capacity, like these Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries, supposedly the world's longest lasting. But even they won't take me through to the end of the day. On a location shoot, I want to record the best audio quality possible and to use one, maybe two XLR microphones with phantom power. Both of those requirements mean using more power, so battery drain will be faster. Typically, I get about one and three quarter hours using copper top Duracell batteries when I've got two XLR microphones plugged in. That's where a power bank comes in useful. This one has got a capacity of 10,000 milliampere hours, while this one is double that at 20,000 milliampere hours. Compared to AA batteries, that's a minimum of five and 10 times more power. If I use one of these, I don't have to keep a nervous eye on the battery indicator that shows how much power I have left. Now, unfortunately, even though that the Zoom has got a USB socket here on the side, I can't just plug the power bank into that mini USB port. I have to use a power connector on the base of the Zoom recorder. And obviously that isn't a USB. To get this to work, I got a USB power cable. It's got a USB connector at one end and a male DC power connector at the other. Now, unfortunately, DC power connectors come in a variety of sizes and the center can be either positive or negative. To connect a Zoom H4n or H4n Pro to a power bank, you need a power cable with a USB 2 A-type male connector at one end and a 4.0mm by 1.7mm DC power connector with central polarity positive at the other. If you don't already have a suitable power cable, I'll leave a link in the description to a cable that'll work with your Zoom H4n or H4n Pro. So I've got my power cable. Let's connect the Zoom H4n to the power bank. It's actually quite simple. The DC power connector goes into the DC socket on the base of the Zoom recorder. Then insert the USB end of the power cable into an output on the power bank. Finally, turn on the Zoom recorder in the usual way. The H4n will boot up as usual. There's no need to change anything in the menu settings. The recorder will automatically use the external power. Also, don't worry about having batteries in the battery compartment. When external power is connected, the power bypasses the battery compartment, so it's safe to leave those batteries in place. I've checked by taking the batteries out and powering up the H4n from the power bank and testing the voltage across the battery compartment terminals. As you can see, the voltmeter is reading zero volts, so no power is reaching the battery compartment. By the way, to check which power source the H4n is using, look at the top right of the display. If the recorder is using AA batteries, a battery life icon with up to three bars will be displayed. If using external power, the battery indicator icon will be absent. 
Before I finish, let's talk about power banks and the power required by the Zoom recorder. According to the Zoom H4N manual, the recorder needs 5 volt 1 amp DC power. Now you can see on this power bank that there are two output ports. The lower one is rated 5 volt 1 amp and the upper one is rated 5 volt 2.1 amps. Does this mean that we can only use the bottom output since the H4N requires 5 volt 1 amp? Now, the rating on each of those outputs is the maximum that they can supply. But a connected device like the Zoom H4N will only draw as much current, that's the amps, that the device requires. So even if you plug the power cable into the output rated 2.1 amps, the recorder will only draw 1 amp. Also, modern chargers and power banks have smart technology incorporated. This checks how much power the connected device needs and only supplies the amount needed. So you're safe to use either of those outputs on the power bank. That's it, and I hope you found this useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It helps me make more. And to make sure you don't miss any new videos, hit that notification bell. Finally, you can find in-depth articles on my website, DIYvideostudio.com. I'll put a link in the description. I wish you well and look forward to seeing you again next time.